Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to continue my story in the book of Daniel, and I want to talk about the next thing that happened after the uh, food incident and after um, some other trials. It says it pleased Darius, who was the king that followed Nebuchadnezzar. He was from what is what was then Persia, now Iran, and he had captured Babylon, and the king there, um, who was the son of Nebuchadnezzar, uh, took his own life and so now the new king Darius said it pleased to set over the kingdom 120 princes of whom should be over the whole kingdom and over these three presidents of whom Daniel was first was that the princes might give accounts unto them and the king should have no damage then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king sought thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Um, I'm sure you've all seen a situation, maybe it's been you who was the victim of it, but you work really hard and you really uh, try to do the best you can for an employer and all the other employees get angry with you and jealous of you because you're working hard or because you're a good a good person and you say no to some things that other people want to do and you won't do it because it's wrong breaks the law or it just violates the trust of your employer or, or customers and you won't do it and other people get angry at you and they start calling you names well Daniel was kind of in that category um, he is now up to his f uh, third king in a row that wanted him to be the chief advisor. He is now like 80 plus years old. He's an, he's an older man, but he's already been discovered to have this excellent spirit, good work attitude, and an excellent spirit because he was connected with God and he had a godly divine, uh, wisdom. And so it says uh, the, uh, the other leaders, these bureaucrats, really had a problem with him. It's kind of interesting. This week we're having Senate hearings on the uh, cabinet uh, uh, nominees for uh, President-elect Trump. And there, all these senators are coming up with all these questions and objections about every single person that comes up. Some of them, I think it's because the person has done absolutely good things their whole life for the service in the military, for example. Uh, one of them had worked 45 years, General Kelly, and we see how he, uh, they, they start bringing up all things that are wrong with these individuals uh, when, in fact, all, they can't find really anything of significance. And, and so that was what was happening with Daniel, because he was a good man, had a good spirit and, uh, about him, that this new king per, uh, from Persia already wants him to be in charge of all his other advisors, even though he's not a Persian. It's kind of interesting. And so all the other bureaucrats are upset because they wanted the position that he's got, I'm sure. And so they come up with this idea um, that everyone has to bow and to worship King Darius. And of course, King Darius, being like most kings, presidents, and other rulers, want other people to pay homage to them and give respect to them and so forth. Uh, he signs this decree. He was another person who signed it before he read it, you know, and it's like before he thought about it. And the consequence of this, he signed a decree that would sentence to death anyone that didn't bow and worship him. Guess what? Daniel was a man of God. He would not bow and worship to the king. He continued to leave his windows open. Other people could see that he was worshiping God, the one true God, every day. And because he was worshiping God, they brought an accusation against him because he was a believer who worshiped God. That was his, the, it was his crime. So uh, they brought the accusation. The king had signed the decree, and now Daniel is sentenced to death. Come back the next time and see the next one because I'm going to talk about what happened when Daniel is sentenced to death. God bless you. Have a good week.